Hey everybody, what's going on? It's Mr. Hino with Mr. Hino's Lego Robotics. Today's video, you guys have always loved these videos. The one where I take a robot educator and I run through every single Cargo Connect mission. It's really cool. You guys have been following my videos. You can know that I've been working on these missions, but today's video, I'm putting it all together. Missions 1 through 16, so if you want to see that, stay with me. Hino Lego Robotics. Oh. Okay, so I got to throw out this disclaimer because every year I get folks that say, hey, you didn't do that in two and a half minutes. So this video is not claiming to get those done in two and a half minutes. I mean, you can check the timestamp on this video. It's going to take longer than that. In fact, when I come back to base, it just the robot goes super slow. So it's just a compilation of all 16 missions done with that robot educator. So the I don't know, the gist of this video is just to, again, let those beginning teams know that those missions can be done and you don't need this ginormous robot. In fact, if you've noticed, they've been trying to, you know, reward you for having a smaller type robot, you know, and fitting in that inspection area to be able to, you know, they just want to get these robots to be smaller and smaller and less complicated. So for those of you that are beginning teams, this video is just to encourage you that you don't need anything fancy. You can just use a simple robot educator with a few modifications to be able to get some decent points. So let's go to the table.
Okay guys, so there you have it. All 16 missions done with the robot educator with just some simple modifications. And you're, you're right, it's gonna take some time in base to or home to be able to put those attachments on. So you have to talk with your team on how to simplify things. What missions do you do first? You're not having to take off many things. It's, it's a really cool thing for your team to be able to, you know, communicate, collaborate in order to get your robot game to where you guys want it to be, where you're getting lots of points and not wasting a ton of time in base, taking off, putting on attachments. So you and your team has to talk about what is the most time efficient, you know, way to go, what missions to do, what to, you know, not put our robot in danger, you know, because you're doing certain missions before others. So that's why they call it the robot game, because there's so much strategizing and looking at your points, going what's worth it, what's not, until your team is finally happy with your outcome. Okay, guys? So hopefully you've enjoyed um, this robot educator doing these Cargo Connect missions. Hopefully your team is doing well, staying focused, staying confident that you'll do well. Okay? Mr. Hino wishes you guys the best of luck in this Cargo Connect season. I'll still bring you guys Cargo Connect videos from time to time, especially talking about team dynamics for those of you that are coach, strategizing things for those of you that, you know, just want to get a better understanding of how to strategize on that board. So don't think that Cargo Connect is done for me. I'll still be bringing those, those videos to you, okay? All right, guys, I am Mr. Hino from Seals Lego Robotics. I'm out. He's out. We got this. We got this. We got this, guys. Hey, guys, Mr. Hino here. Thank you so much for watching. And if you love robotics, don't forget to check out these videos also because they're cool. Okay, guys, take care.